Greeting citizens of the world. Today I'm going to teach you how to perform a denial of service attack on a website. To perform the attack, we are going to use an application called LOIC, which stands for Low Orbit Iron Cannon. This is also the same application that the hacktivist group Anonymous uses. Before we begin, there are a couple of things that I would like to make you aware of. 1. It is illegal to perform a denial of service attack on a website that you do not own. 2. If you choose to perform this attack, you do so at your own risk. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's begin. First, we need to install Mono Develop, which is a tool that is used to compile and run LOIC. So, open a terminal. And, in terminal, type, aptitude, space, install, space, get, tech, core, space, mono develop, then, press enter. When prompted to confirm the installation, type yes, and press enter. Now type, cd, space, forward slash, root, forward slash, desktop, with an uppercase d, then, press enter. Now, we need to create a new directory on our desktop, so, type, m, k, dare, space, loic, then, press enter. If you refer to your desktop, you will notice a new folder titled, loic, this is where the loic application files will be stored. Now, let's move on, back in terminal, type, cd, space, loic, then, press enter. Now, we need to retrieve the LOIC application files, so, type, wget, space, https, colon, forward slash, forward slash, raw, dot, github, dot, com, forward slash, n, i, c, o, l, a, r, g, o, forward slash, LOIC installer, forward slash, master forward slash loic dot sh then press enter now we need to change the permissions for loic so that we can install it so type chmod space 7 7 7 space loic dot sh then press enter now that we've changed the permissions we need to install the LOIC application, so, type, dot, forward slash, LOIC, dot, SH, space, install, then, press enter. Once the installation is finished, we need to update LOIC, so, type, dot, forward slash, LOIC, dot, SH, space, update, then, press enter. Now, before we can launch LOIC, we need to install the Mono Develop GMCS compiler. The GMCS compiler is used for compiling C Sharp and .NET applications, such as LOIC. So, when your editor perform the installation, type apt tech get space install space mono tech GMCS, then press enter. All right. Now we're ready to launch LOIC's graphical user interface, and configure the denial of service attack, so, type, dot, forward slash, LOIC, dot, SH, space, run. Then, press enter. This is what the LOIC user interface looks like. The interface was designed to provide LOIC users with a simple and user-friendly attack interface. However, you may want to take a moment to look it over before we continue. When you're ready, let's begin. First, we need to identify a target website. We do this by entering the target website's URL. For this tutorial, I'm going to attack my own website. So, I'm going to enter http colon forward slash forward slash www dot sun studio photography dot Com. Now, I'm going to assume that the majority of you do not own a web server, therefore, 
I'm going to allow you permission to attack my site. However, I am going to ask one thing in return. Please do not perform the attack for more than 60 seconds. Once you start the attack, visit my site to ensure the attack is working. Satisfy your curiosity, then, cease the attack. If you agree to those terms, enter my website's URL, and press the button that says, Lock on. You'll notice that an IP address has appeared in the selected target box. This means that you've successfully locked onto your target. Now, let's move on to the attack options. First, we need to tick the box that says append random characters to the subsite. Second, we need to change the attack method to UDP. And third, we are going to enter a value of 50 in the threads field. Everything else should be left with the default settings. Now, the denial of service attack is configured. However, before we execute the attack, let's take a glance at our target website to ensure it is online and functioning properly. Open a web browser. Navigate to the target URL. And take notice, you can see that our target website is online, and it is functioning without issue. So, let's move back to the LOIC interface and begin the attack. To begin the attack, press the button that says, I'm a charge in Malaysia. Take notice of the attack status. The value below requested should be rapidly increasing. This means the denial of service attack is working properly. To confirm that our attack has been effective, let's move back into our web browser and take a look at the target website. Prior to executing the attack, the target website was functioning properly. However, you can see that the target website is no longer responsive. This is because we are flooding the web server with an excessive amount of garbage requests. When you are ready to end the attack, simply move back into the LOIC interface, and press the button that says stop flooding. This concludes today's tutorial, I hope you enjoyed the video, and please, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.